Uh, no. <laughs> no. How are you doing today? British TV? British TV? Yes, How's it going, brother? We're trying to keep the people out. That'd be great. Yeah, if you go over there and uh, uh, Rob Callahan, Captain Rob Callahan. Rob's name on text, we get it right. Sure, it's uh, Captain Rob Callahan. It's R O B C A L L A H A N. Okay, right. Now you've obviously had to get that much sleep. What's the situation now? Well, right now we're in a rescue mode. Um, you have to understand that we still have about 12 foot of water in our south um, part of our town. Um, our houses, the water's up to the eaves of the houses. So we're rescuing people that, that are on the rooftops. We're trying to get them safe to, to, to higher ground. And, and, and we're, we're, we're just trying to do that right now. And that's that's what our main focus is. So you think you've managed to avoid some of the fatalities that other areas experience? You know, I'm hoping, but based on what I saw and what I experienced by going through this hurricane myself, I think that we will have fatalities, unfortunately. You know, we ask, anytime that a hurricane approaches this low-lying area, we ask for people to get out. I mean, the, the reason is clear, because because of, of, of how low we are and how vulnerable we are, that we want them to get out. But of course, people don't listen sometimes. And unfortunately, I think we have quite a few people that didn't listen, and hopefully they survived. They got into their attics, and they're, they're safe. Um, but I, I really think we're going to have some fatalities though, after this one. Worst thing you've ever seen? Uh, yes, ma'am. I, I experienced many storms before, the category of one, two, and threes. Um, this category five, uh, where the eye came right over this area here, was uh, the worst thing I've ever experienced. All right, get on. Well, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Hard. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really disheartening to know that you, you, know, you work all your life and you think. So, what about for you personally, though? Have you had time to assess what's happened to your hometown? Well, you know, I've gone around the town just a bit, just trying to assess the situation, but I think what's really disheartening to me is, is I know that there's 10 foot of water in my house right now. When the storm surge came, and I live in the south end of town, it was 22 feet, okay? So right now, after a day, um, it's, it's gone down some, but it's only down to 10 feet. So can you imagine 10 foot of water in your home? And the problem is, is that we're helping everybody else, saving lives and doing all the things that, that we're supposed to do. But we can't even go to our own homes and start the cleanup process until we take care of everything else. And unfortunately, you know, it's just part of our jobs. And uh, I'm just warning about my house. I don't know if there's a tree through it or not, but I know that the whole area is flooded and my house is, is underwater. And, uh, but hey, you know, what can you do, right? Yeah, what about your walkie-talkie? I mean, there are people down there at the moment. Who's down there? I don't know. Yeah, no Actually, you know, I'm, I'm the commander of the operation, right. but I'm also the public information officer right. dealing with the news media. So I'm trying to do 15 things oh. at once, and yeah, so it's been a def we'll difficult three days. Because, you know, we started Saturday morning yeah. when the storm was approaching, and I haven't been to bed yet. Oh. So, yeah, it's, it's, I'm just living on adrenaline, I guess. I don't know, or working on adrenaline. So, okay. anyway. Thanks a lot. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. Well, I... I you got to have the mic up if you want to cut it with the other shot. Sorry? The microphone has to be held up if you want to intercut it with the other oh, yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where were the air? Where were the air? In England? Yeah. Oh, really? I don't have any friends there, so that's where you go. Yeah, that's right. So when you see, so you know, I mean, oh, yeah, that's the same guy. Never mind. I'm going to just go down there. 100, 130. You might have some friends here. No, I saw you brought the boat in. John, what are you doing? Sitting by my boat right here on Friday Levy. Can you take out a, a British crew? A what? <laughs> Talking yard. Yeah, I know. I just you got the audio on that thing? Yeah. Right. Well, y'all can just talk about what y'all are doing. How's your house? My house is damaged. Is it? Yeah, flooded. One eight one seven. Where'd you are? Relocate one thirty seven and one thirty four. They both went to the airport to get fuel. As we get them relieved, they need to get out there and top off. They they figured out a way to to all the Okay. So as these guys were leaving, send, a, send them out to the airport to the top of the mall. Yeah, Temple, I was trying. 
Action reporter, huh? And I need... Oh, I'm definitely ready. Testing, following somebody at State Park. What's that? CBS 11 is here. They're from, they're local. They're in Dallas. Yeah, they may not want to transmit. I wonder if they <laughs> should we get out. No, I know. Honestly, the shot straight, this is what I really want. So hopefully we'll get out of the shot. Let's just keep it, keep it there because it's really Well, this used to be a road. I'm not going to go down the road. No. You want to stop and... No, 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 no. no. I've been through an you know, Irish spy so many times. You know? Yeah. But I don't know why I should go this way because we can't even go. Well, there are boats. Down. There are boats rather than cars up there. Oh, someone's reversing too. But over here, we've got one of the boats out there now. This looks like it's dry, right? Over there on this left yes. side. Yeah. If I make it through there, I'll probably. Well, the police will probably know, won't they? I think we're just going to go out with the police now, so. Yeah. <laughs> Targets. That's it. Right John? No. no. Uh, he'll be back shortly. Ready? He's running a power line and down to check a power line. Oh, okay. As soon as he comes back, he'll be That's great. Five. Thank you so much. Well, I can use my boat motor gas. 
same yeah, thing. We have access to it now. Oh, you know what? In that I'm skiff, talking about right there. In that skiff, there's a five gallon canister right there. Like right way over there? Grab a good smaller canister. Good luck. Get that. What? going that way? Yeah. You want to talk to us real quick? <laughs> come up here first. No, TV, huh? Uh-huh, British TV. We got a So, uh, well, how's your house down there? Messed up. Yeah? Not yeah. good? Everything flipped over. Gotta come up a bit higher. Come up here. So only boats on the street, not cars. How, how's your house doing? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What's it like inside at the moment? Everything flipped over. Oh. And what about school? What's going to happen about school? I don't know. I don't want to go back to school, really. Yeah, what, do, what, do, what do you think? I don't really want to either. Well, there's probably going to be no school for a couple of months. Well? So, well? Probably not for a couple of, maybe, you know, four or five, six weeks, you won't be going to school. Is that good? Yes. Yeah. The one good thing to come out of this, huh? So what are you going to do now? You're just going to go around and see, see what else is happening? Oh, yeah. Everybody go around there and come out. Right. Okay, is this your, uh, your boat from before? Yeah, we had, uh, my auntie had it in our backyard. Oh, okay, right. Well, it's come, come in useful. Okay, off you go. See you later. Thank you. Okay, right. Hi. How you doing? So, well, how are you doing? I'm managing. <laughs> Yeah, what's, what's your situation at the moment? Um, my husband went in, I live in Palm Lake, he went in to check and see how high the water is. So he's taken a boat out there? Uh, he walked. He's walked? He's walking. Gosh, how deep is it? You know. Don't know. I mean, it's going down from where it was. Yeah. Are, are these your, did you manage to get your dogs out? Or? 
I got mine out and this one is a, a relative's dog who took my one of my children to trade it off a dog for a child. I have a how five, old are your children? Five and uh, three. And how are they doing? They're in Texas. We left and went to Florida, drove back this morning. We left at 3 a.m. from Florida. Just got here probably about two hours ago. And I'm sitting here waiting for my husband to come out of the subdivision. But this must be a really tough time for you. Yeah. <laughs> and the rest of my family lives in Chalmette, and they've lost everything, too. What are you going to do, do you think? I don't know. Just rebuild. I suppose there are so many people in the same position, aren't there? And a lot of community I'm not support. Not the only one. I guess it could be worse. Yeah. Well, you're all here. I'm here. Yep. You got a chair. I <laughs> borrowed it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I hope I hope the news isn't too bad from down there anyway. I hope so too. I hope. It's a two-story house. I'm hoping that the second floor is at least livable while we rebuild the bottom. Yeah. Good luck to you. What's Thank your you. name? My name's Patrice. Patrice, okay. Good luck. Thanks. I know we didn't be able to talk to you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. That's okay. Do you like an apple? Do you have an actual one? Sorry? Do you have another apple? I have loads. A bottle of water? Uh, I did, they just gave me some water. Oh, yeah. Do a banana as well? No, just the apple. Would be apple. Fine. Okay. Thank you. Hold on, I'll get you one. Thank you. Uh, we haven't eaten oh. since yesterday. Oh, Jack, neutral grain. No. I've got lots of bars. Just an apple would be fine. Well, I'll give you one for, in case you want some later. Thank you. Would uh, chat? Is that mean? It would be. The first thing the police said was. I love them. I was looking at them when you walked up. <laughs> they're from Target. I think they're in the kids section. And guess what? I'm everywhere for them. Uh, when we leave here, we I think we're going to go to Texas to meet up with you know, my family. Well, you have to get back to the kids, don't you? Yeah, well, we haven't seen them since a couple of days ago. Oh, so much. Please, just take these as well. Because honestly, it's fun. Um, hey, doggy. Psst, psst. Put him sassy. Sassy? He's sassy. Oh. He's sassy. I can't turn that foot that way. I mean, like you're like you were standing when you're doing the interview. Yeah, you were kind of standing like that. He's sassy. Sassy. Hey, hey, hey. Sassy. Turn it on. Make sure the mic's on. What? Is your mic on? Uh, okay. This one's on, yeah. Okay, great. Just double check. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of it, so. This one? Yeah. I can see it's steamed up a little, yeah. It's rather ironic, I mean, that flooring shop over there, isn't it? So that must have been under a lot of water, I think, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Right here. I can smell it too. Yeah. Right there. What a lawn. Yeah. Oops. Oh, just, wait, just under here. Come on. Yeah. I can see that. Yep. Okay. What a waste. Do you think it can be salvaged? No way. No. 
it's been salvaged once. This was a um, brother-in-law of mine's vehicle that passed away. This was his pride and joy. Mm. And somebody borrowed it and totaled it. And we bought it back from the salvage just to have it because it was his. Mm. And it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Claire, here Yep. So you gotta give me. You gotta I'll give, me give you a minute. I'll give you a minute. <laughs> yeah. Well, which is about uh, nose eight inside. Upstairs is fine. Awesome. Awesome. That's yeah, somewhat. We got something left. Boots are still there, but they're all wet. Refrigerator's on that side. You got about two inches of sludge in the house, I guess. A bunch so, of trees to apple them, you know. Does that mean your clothes are okay and your... No. Mm -hmm. my, my children's toys are okay. And my wedding pictures. Stuff like that. That's, that's good. But all normal furniture, TV, stereo. Stuff we couldn't pick up. Everything that ain't worth it, I guess. So, <laughs> so you walked all the way through there? Walked all the way through there, about a, a mile to the back where we live. How high was the water? How high did it come on you? In the street, about waist deep. Yeah. And in the house, you can tell it was uh, right about to my nose. You can see the line. About eight feet in the garage, because the garage is at a whole level. Both boats are gone? Both boats are there. They just went under the water, you can tell. What about the pool? It's dirty. It didn't, like, <laughs> pop up or anything? No. Paddle boat? Paddle boat is still tied to the back. Why you didn't drive it out? The oak tree that you didn't like is uh, on the house. It's not through the roof, but it's on the house. Um, Those magnolia trees didn't go? Magnolia up? trees didn't go. Damn. The uh, south side of the house, the whole wall is gone. The brick wall. And part of the brick in the back. Just the brick wall. The columns? The brick wall. Yeah, the front porch. The columns are gone from the front porch. Um, Columns are going from the back porch? No, everything in the back's fine for some reason. Is that better Except for than the you're trees and shrubs. I didn't expect this, the bricks to be gone. The trees and the shrubs are halfway out of the ground. Any holes in the roof? Uh, maybe where the trees laying. Did you go upstairs? Mm -hmm. A little storm shutter on the bathroom wall didn't hang. Well, mainly because the wall fell down, I guess. But <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. So what do you do now? Uh, Change clothes? That's a good question. Paul drives out the computer that didn't get wet. That's all <laughs> our family pictures, so uh, we didn't lose all the memories. So hopefully I can plug this into another computer and it'll work. And uh, I don't know. We'll be heading to Texas now. We'll come Going back in a couple children. days. Yep. We'll worry about it later. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. All right, y'all too. <laughs> Now we gotta get that HTS to the bank. 16185. I didn't launch that little one right there. 85. 1020. They just calling for somebody. Let him off. He likes close up shots. He knows that. Okay, you're still on the back. This guy's bad side. You got it. 10 4. If you can, make your way uh, toward the front. No, just stay where you are, you're good. Yeah. Let's just go. Where are they at? We've just been kind of going through here. Uh, On that side of the yeah. Nobody's really out. How deep is it in Lincoln Park? I don't know.
British television. British.